Good morning children today we shall learn what is the use of percentage in profit and loss In our previous lesson we learnt about profit and loss say the shopkeeper Manilal spent 200 rupees to buy white shirt from the wholesaler he sold it at rupees 230 to one customer what is the profit he made by selling this shirt we know profit means selling price is greater than the cost price correct and profit is equal to selling price that is sp in short minus the cost price that is cp in short in this case the sp is rupees 230 and cp which is cost price is rupees 200 so profit is equal to sp minus cp which is equal to 230 minus 200 so we can say profit is equal to rupees 30 and thus manilal makes rupees 30 as his profit on the other hand Rahim spends rupees fifty to get bread, vegetables, etc., and he sells the sandwich made out of it for rupees eighty. What is the profit he made by selling the sandwich? Let us see. In this case, SP is rupees eighty, which is the selling price of the sandwich, and CP is fifty. which is the cost price of the sandwich that is the amount spent in getting the sandwich ready so rahi makes the profit which is equal to 80 minus 50 and thus the profit is equal to rupees 30 and we can say rahi made a profit of rupees 30 per sandwich So we see Rahim spent much lesser than Manilal. Manilal spent rupees two hundred, and Rahim spent rupees fifty. But both earned the same profit, which is rupees thirty. Can we consider both of these profit as same? Let us see. In a contest. A man lifts fifty kg, but a child just lifts ten kgs. And who's the winner? The man is declared the winner. But is it fair to compare the strength of a child with an adult? No, it's not fair. So for fair contest, we compare the strength of one adult with another adult. Correct. because a child is supposed to be weaker than an adult so if a person wants to prove himself stronger he must compare his strength to another adult same way when we compare profits to see who is the better businessman we should see who would earn more profit if each of them spent the same amount of money this means bring them to the same level before the comparison as people may spend different amount and may get different profit we calculate percentage of profit that is how much profit would a person make if he had spent rupees 100 that is the cost price was rupees 100 we already know how to find the percentage as we are finding the percentage against the cost price we divide profit by cost price then we multiply with 100 so the formula for percentage of profit is profit divided by cost price multiplied by 100 this is profit per 100 rupees and we call it as the percentage of profit thus when we say percentage 
we mean per hundred. What is the percentage of profit cut? What is the percentage of profit Manilal made? Manilal made 30 divided by 200 into 100 as the percentage of profit. We can divide 100 by 200. So, the profit percentage is 30 divided by 2 which is equal to 15. Hence, we can say the percentage of profit is 15%. It means he would make rupees 15 as profit for every 100 rupees he spent. Similarly, Rahim's percentage of profit is equal to 30 divided by 50 into 100 as the profit was 30 and the cost price was 50. Here we can divide 50 by 100. So, profit percentage becomes 30 multiplied by 2 which is equal to 60. So, the profit percentage is 60. It means he would make rupees 60 as a profit for every 100 rupees he spent. So, if we compare, Manilal made a profit of 15 percentage, meaning 15 rupees per 100 rupees. And Rahim made a profit of 60 percentage, meaning profit of rupees 60 per 100. Who is better? 60 percent is more than 15 percent. Correct? This means Rahim's business is more profitable than Manilal's as for the same amount spent, Rahim would make more profit than Manilal. And what about loss? Loss means cost price is greater than the selling price and loss is equal to cost price minus selling price that is CP minus SP. We can express the loss in percentage 2. Percentage of loss is equal to loss divided by cost price multiplied by 100. It means how much loss is made per 100 rupees. Correct? You might wonder why do we divide profit or loss by cost price only. Why not selling price? When we say Manilal made 15 rupees as profit, it means he made 15 rupees extra on every 100 rupees he spent, which is the cost price. 15% profit means he spends 100 rupees and makes 15 rupees extra. That is total he gets rupees 115 and if we say Manilal made 15 percent loss it means on every hundred rupees he spent he lost 15 rupees 15 percent loss means he spends 100 rupees and loses 15 rupees that is he gets back only rupees 85 in return of spending rupees 100. Thus, it's the cost price which is used to calculate the percentage of profit or loss. Say, Chakan earned 20% profit spending rupees 1500. How much profit did he make? He made profit equal to 20% of 1500. So we can say profit is equal to 20 divided by 100 multiplied by 1500. We can cancel 100 from both the numerator and the denominator. So we get 20 multiplied by 15. Thus, 
he made profit equal to 300 rupees understood so remember children what we learned today about profit percentage and loss percentage profit percent is equal to profit divided by cost price multiplied by 100 where profit is equal to SP which is the selling price minus CP which is the cost price same way the loss percent is equal to loss divided by the cost price multiplied by 100 here the loss is equal to CP minus SP that was all for today bye bye children